today we're in Windows XP Professional and what we want to do is look at some command line tools so the first thing we'll do let's look at the old DOS command prompt this is a 16-bit command prompt and you're familiar DOS commands are there recurse out memory version there's a trib and its options clear and let's erase and we'll say yes but anyway th that's you know old 16-bit DOS command prompt what you're probably more interested in or what you want to use is not C-O-M-M-A-N-D but C-M-D this is a command prompt for Windows NT 2000 Professional, XP Professional 2003, Vista 2008 and again some of the same DOS commands here's our directory listing um, we make a directory called test, oh, it already exists we'll erase test, yes and then we'll make a directory called test clear go into test um, oops Linux commander gotta remember I'm in Microsoft and let's go ahead and create a file we'll do the old edit command we'll just add a comment tag in our batch file room this is a test and we'll add a few commands CLS echo hi mom there you go and let's go ahead and save this and w for the name we'll just call the name of the file test and we'll save it into the test folder and now I'm going to exit and there's my file test and you know how you have the touch command you can create files in Linux <coughs> and you can view them with cat short for catalog well in DOS you can use type command to do the same thing so I'm gonna type test and that's all test says it's just showing me the ASCII text contents of that file type and test and I have the attrib command in this case here I have the att attributes of test and test and if I want to let me rename test didn't give it an extension but let's rename test to test.bat and clear the screen and now it's test.bat with this batch extension or .bat extension it short for batch file now we can run tests as a program and you can see what it does is it clears the screen and says hi mom again I'll, I'll run it again I'm hitting the up arrow from the command prompt. If you hit the up arrow, you can cycle through commands from your previous commands to your other commands. But since I changed the extension to a batch file, it becomes executable. And it clears the screen and says, it just echoes, hi mom. And if I added echo off to my batch file, you wouldn't see the echo, hi mom. But here's, uh, it's actually displaying hi mom. So, by the way, hi mom. But um, DNS issues, a lot of times that will help fix the problem. And again, now all that I have in my cache are these two items. Um, I can list my ARP cache. These are what you know, remember that you know DNS networking routing takes place at layer three. The MAC address and address resolution protocol are at layer two, and this is my ARP cache. I could clear it um, if I want to use the command. In this case, and now if I look at my ARP cache, no entries are there. This might be a useful tool. If you're having problems with connectivity in Windows XP um, or Vista for that matter, 2003, 2008, because the local ARP cache, it helps speed things up, but sometimes things go wrong. Let's say that somebody changes their NIC cards and reboots their PC. Your computer could have the old MAC address cached, not the new MAC address, and so it wouldn't be able to resolve you know, that particular computer host name because it would have the wrong, uh, you know, basically the, the wrong MAC address in its ARP cache. So if you clear the ARP cache, then you force it to go out and look for the new MAC address. And not only does XP have that problem, but sometimes switches have that problem before they go into learning mode. Um, MBT stat. We'll look at some of the MBT stat. Um, for a remote machine, really just have a loopback going right now, so I don't have, can't 
not not going to be very fruitful, but we'll at least look at it with my loop back. Um, and let's list some more settings here. Let's do let's look at our local net bias names. And here are my local net bias names. So MBT stat can be a useful tool. These are just some of the command line tools that you'll see. Um, um, GP update. And again, if you know if, if I change group policy or local security policy settings, I can use GP update to refresh. Uh, GP update. Just some of the system commands that are very useful, very powerful um, from the command prompt in Windows. Some other uh, nice command tools would be the ping command. And again, I'll just use ipconfig to look at some of my IP settings and route print to print my routing table. And so I want to try to ping my gateway here. Here's my default. Use the cur mouse cursor. Here's my default gateway. Went to my C82. And if I get four echo replays, and I've got a good solid connection there. Now let me try to go through my gateway. I'll try to get an outside domain. So we'll try to resolve something to say Yahoo. In this case, again, here's the domain name. It's being resolved to 69147114210. Another useful command, if I were tracking down routing problems or configuration problems, would be trace route. And I could trace route to that IP. So I want to find out all the places I go through to get to 69147114210 uh, there. And so here we go. There's our gateway. And then in this case, you know, there's Yahoo.